so do you believe if the small small farmer systems are resilient the uh, large ecosystems will get cracking and uh, will it uh, will it will it have an impact have you seen some examples of it happening can you give me examples of where you have seen some impact happen in which countries and give me some examples when the small farmer ecosystem local community ecosystem becomes resilient the larger food ecosystem starts to crack have you seen examples of this wow oh. no in that not yet i should say not yet there are we're talking about an alternative to a industrial globalized food system there we we're, we're working we're providing an alternative to a multinational food system okay there was a we're providing a grass mo movement to have change on a global scale that means we need a lot more people we need a lot more cooperation from governments and institutions to make that paradigm shift slow food is not the You're... only organization working on this we have you know if we look at fao they're talking our language now 15 years ago they were on the industrial food globalization side in the 15 years then we're now speaking the same language okay if we look at other un agencies they're also talking our language now if we look at other ngos they're all talking not all most of them are talking our language when we talk about food systems everybody's talking now about agroecology as being an answer to climate change Okay. we can't do it alone it's not slow foods job to do it alone we need millions of people to be doing this to change that to have that paradigm shift we work locally we do what we can there are changes absolutely locally there are changes also on national perspectives in regards to that but the global food system has millions and millions and millions of dollars behind them to continue marketing and doing what they do and the multinationals the five multinationals we can't compete at this moment in time unless we've got the population talking about what we're doing so slow food we have a snail as our as our symbol it means that we move slowly but surely okay and that snail continues it knows exactly where it's going we've been doing this for 30 years okay so now after 15 we have un agencies talking the same thing everybody you know in time the more we get involved with the advocacy and government policy starting to looking at this as a as an alternative so we're looking at sustainable food production not just economic benefits as soon as we start speaking the same language then we start seeing the paradigm shift okay there are examples in countries where it's been on a national scale it's been taken on but globally is a uh, 